This project began actually in 2012. It was the old downtown shopping centre site and it had been here for 50 years. What we really liked about the site was the fact that it sat at the bottom of Queen Street, right on the waterfront, you know, right in the heart of where Auckland City was heading to. So what we've got in terms of the development, we've got two rail tunnels that sit a long way below where we're standing right now. We've got three levels of basement car parking, we've got three levels of retail, and then we've got 39 levels of office tower. Within the retail, we actually designed and built eight different buildings. Rather than one existing building, large podium, we wanted to break it up. And in doing that, we really created a series of laneways that we were really interested in. And so the opportunity to design something from the ground up, free to do with what you wanted to do, was a really great opportunity. Downtown Shopping Centre was probably the gap in an otherwise beautiful smiling face and to be able to fill that gap with an incredible development that integrates well with our public transport, the waterfront and also creating a, a large home for the commercial users means that we're bringing the people back to the waterfront. We realised very early on that we simply couldn't turn our back on the city. So what we tried to do was create a design that actually faced every direction within the city. And that's really interesting because, you know, Auckland City has traditionally been north-south, up and down Queen Street. And we've seen over the last 10 years or so the orientation of the city shift from that north-south axis to sort of east-west. But notwithstanding that, we still didn't feel like we wanted to turn our back south to Queen Street because that's where a lot of our heritage exists. We started this journey thinking about how to build a tower above the city rail link and the technical challenge of doing that. But as we progressed through the design process, we came to understand that the real opportunity lay at the level of the street and the way in which the project interacts with the public of Auckland. We developed this idea of a laneway environment which we see as being totally unique, not just in New Zealand but around the world. It was a series of buildings with different facades that were really interesting that people kind of just found themselves in there and they were really excited about what they found. We're really proud to have been one of hundreds of suppliers, installers and local trades on site during this project. Our notable areas were the natural stone and tile throughout the retail space but also the PwC tower and the sky lobby. It's incredibly satisfying to see these beautiful materials that we've been working with come to life. For us, the outcome had to be uniquely Auckland, and failure would look like a project that could be in Shanghai or Sydney or San Francisco. Acknowledging and respecting you know, New Zealand's heritage was really, really important. And you know, through the design, we've had a huge amount of involvement with iwi. So commissioned art that a range of iwi partners have provided, but also the specific textures within the flooring patterns and the ceiling patterns, the embedding of this uh, partiki form, this diagrid form that runs through the entirety of the project. It's integrated with the public transport, it's integrated with the harbour, it's created a food and beverage experience that no one in New Zealand has seen before and arguably as good as anywhere in the world. It's really pleasing to see our involvement enhance Aucklanders' working, shopping and dining environments. Ultimately we want Aucklanders that work here to stay here and we want the city to be vibrant and exciting and energetic and we want visitors to come here and then come back because they've had such a good experience. And if we can achieve all those things we'll be incredibly proud.